All right, guys, thank you for tuning in again. Appreciate y'all watching these crazy times. I hope these videos can help to bring you guys some level of stability. To be honest with y'all, I know fishing is the only thing that is keeping me sane throughout all of this craziness. But I'll sit in my house and I'll worry all day, or I can go fishing, try and make some videos, be alone like this, practice my social distancing, and have, a, have the time of my life, really. But pond out here, we fished it previously, I don't know, it might have been a year ago when last I made a video here, but I know there's a lot of crappie in here, a lot of bass in here. I'm gonna start with the little bluegill rig because that's just what I have tied on. Um, everything should be moving up. It is 90 degrees today in South Texas. The crappie should be going crazy, the bass should be going crazy. We're gonna spend the evening out here and try and figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. Gosh, there was a fish there. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Look at that thing, guys. Look at that thing. What a giant. Get up here. Come on. Dang. God, what a freak. What a freak. Holy smokes. Whew, that's a beast. That is the largest largemouth I have caught in a good bit, guys. Look at that monster. Smash that jig. You guys might have noticed when I was fishing for crappie, I cast it over there and could definitely see some disturbance up there. Had no idea that's what it was. Cast the bass jig in there. One cast is all it took. Look at that thing. What a beast. All right, well, my day is pretty much made, but that was just what happened right here. We got this whole pond fish. I'm gonna go figure the rest of it out. Goodness gracious, did y'all see my line jump? That could have been a bass smacking the lure with its tail. One thing to remember, in springtime, if you get a bite you don't connect, there's a good chance the fish was just mad at your lure and was smacking it to get it away from his area. Got him. Yes, big fish. Wow, another giant. Another beast, guys. Holy smokes, it might be bigger. I think it is bigger. Oh 
my gosh. Yeah. These things are fighting so hard. Look at this giant. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come on. Golly. Absolute giant, guys. Absolute giant. Way bigger. Look at that. Is that jig off? No, it's not off. That's where he hit that thing. Look at that fish, guys. Unbelievable. Oh, good. It's rolling. Wow. What a day maker. Just incredible. <laughs> Does not get better than that, my friends. Y'all saw the fight. That was, that was just insane. What a fish. That's it, guys. Letting her go. Way bigger than our first fish. Way bigger. Gone. All right, we was ultralight fishing and we must have dropped our crappie jig on something bad because yeah, big bass. Not a lot of line left, so let's hope we can get him in. I fished this bay, I fished this area with the jig. Nothing, nothing at all. Put on this crappie jig, make one cast. I played that one really bad. Good fish though. Jeez. Look at that. Got him. Yes. Wow. Beautiful, healthy, large mouth bass. So much fun. Literally, the fish is eating it, and I'm trying to unsnag my lure from its mouth. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. You know I appreciate it. That that was just incredible to have that happen, to, to be stuck in the house and decide to go fishing and go out and have something like that happen just made my day, made my week, made my month. If I'm being honest, that was an awesome, awesome fish. Wherever you guys are, I certainly hope that you are able to get out and go fishing. Um, in my opinion, there is no better escape. And if I wasn't able to fish, I think I would be going crazy with these crazy times. I think there are more people fishing in at least my corner of Texas than I have ever seen before. This day when I was fishing out here, I ran into about seven or eight other people out there fishing. And it's awesome to see so many people out there fishing, especially people that really haven't fished before. They said there's nothing else to do. I might as well go fishing. But I will be honest that I have seen some very negative effects of that. Um, a lot of people, including me, are getting kicked off a lot more lately. The other day I was fishing at a pond and there was maybe 10 or 11 people there. Normally there's one or two people fishing there. Cop came out and kicked everybody out. And um, I, I think, at least from what I'm hearing, a lot of the residents are saying that they didn't care when there was one or two people fishing there once or twice a week, but all of a sudden there's tons of people there 
and um, they're having enough of it. I know the cops are getting called a lot more. I'm getting kicked off way more than I ever have. Another thing that's happening is that people are keeping a lot of fish. Um, the crappie places you guys see me fish, um, been going to some of them and just seeing people walk out with stringers of 20 crappie. All the fish I've been catching, the one, two, and I, I saw a guy walk out with what had to be a three, three and a half pound crappie the other day. And that is, I think that's crazy. And in a little pond like that, if people start doing that, there's going to be no good breeding fish left. I saw a guy walk out with a, a bass like I caught in this video, eight, nine pound bass the other day, which is just gut wrenching to me. It's awesome people are fishing, but I also am seeing a lot of negative impacts. I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys able to fish? Are you noticing a lot more people out there fishing? Are you noticing people keeping fish? Are y'all getting kicked off a lot more when you fish urban ponds? Please let me know. No matter what, I hope you guys are fishing. I hope you're staying safe. Thank y'all for watching.